What's up guys, Susie here, and uh, I've got, as you can see, six cards on the mat. And you can probably tell from the title of the video, it's just going to go through all the basic rarities you get in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. thought I'd do this because, one, I kind of ran out of videos to make, and two, it'll be, I think it'll be a good thing to just show you guys my collection of cards, like a really small bit, I guess. But anyway, without further ado, let us begin. And I'm starting off with a common card, as you can see here. This is Needle Bug Nest from the Julius Genesis. And you can see common cards are just basically plain. Nothing very special about them. That's why they call them common. It's basically common. And yep. So that is you get usually get eight cards, common cards per pack. Or if you get a holographic and a rare, you will get seven common cards per pack. Because you usually get 9 cards per pack. But that's just in usual sets, so... Yep, that's just a common card. I um, don't think it's really worth putting on the bat, but... And we start off from the left, here. Uh, here we have... Boom. We have Deck Lockdown, which is a rare. So, the rares have silver lettering, as you can see. And basically, just like the common card, but with silver lettering. And you often get this guaranteed in every pack. But it wasn't always like this. Um, I think we're back in the very old school stuff, like Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon and stuff. They would usually have one rare, but then if you didn't get the rare, you would get a holographic. So it was actually a good thing you didn't get a rare back in those days, because you just guaranteed you get a holographic instead. So, but nowadays you get either a rare or a holographic, so they're being very nice. Konami are not being stingy at all, which is good. Right, so that's a deck lockdown, rare. And we'll have that there. The next thing up should be boom, a super rare, which is here I'm using summon skill. And as you can see it's not really different. Well it's different, it's got a holographic picture, but the lettering is is black. It is different, what am I saying? <laughs> um yeah, the lettering is black. Well it depends I think. Some some of them are white lettering, but it's not silver lettering or anything, it's not really engraved into the card and it's just holographic as you can see so just a picture that's holographic and this is the super rare and this is from Dark Beginnings 1 so yep so this is super rare anyway next one up in the middle right here we have boom we have an ultra rare and right now I'm using if we we'll focus, oh, Black Lost Soldier, Ember of the Beginning. And this is from Invasion of Chaos, as you can see, first edition. Had this card for years, but, and kind of want to keep it. But yep, you can see this is ultra rare, and you can tell the difference right there. You've got gold lettering at the top. Nice and gold lettering. And then you have a holographic picture, just like the super rare. So... So you call this ultra rare, and you get usually two of these cards per box ratio. So really nice. Cool. Right, so that's ultra rare. Next up from that is I think I put it right. Yep. Boom. We have a secret rare. And this one is much more rare than the other ones because you can only get one of these per box, often or not, if you're lucky. You can get two, but I think I had two secret rares in one box once, like in my Photon Shockwave opening, if you watch that. that. This is a secret rare, and you can see it looks like silver lettering, but it's not. It's actually a rainbow colored lettering, if you can see there. If I shine it off, it's actually rainbow colored right there. And here is like kind of stripy, sparkly holographic picture, and that is the secret rare. So it's pretty cool. And this is Dark Arm Dragon, you can see. First edition from Phantom of Darkness. So this was a very valuable valuable card back then and I think it's still worth a bit. Pretty cool. So this is what you call a secret rare card. Secret. So secret. <laughs> Not really. But yep. And then on to the next one is actually one more. I would say it's equivalent to the secret rare, but it's not, it is called, boom, it's called an ultimate rare card. And this 
is completely different to other ones. First off, there's the picture which is completely different, like it's actually embroidered and you can actually feel it. Um, there we go, you can actually see the the pattern, you can actually feel it and everything, it's actually sticking out of the card kind of, really 3D-ish. And you have the gold lettering just like the ultra rare, but you call this an ultimate rare card. And the newer ultimate rare cards, you actually have the sides which are embroidered as well, but I thought I'd use this one. And this is Hero from Enemy of Justice. So it's really cool. Pattern, picture and everything. And you actually get this one per box, just like a secret rare. And they actually introduced this, I think, in the GX series. Um, I think it was Shadow Infinity, Flaming Eternity, Enemy of Justice, uh, Lost Millennium, Rise of Destiny. That, that set of of sets <laughs> uh, introduced the ultimate rare so little bit of history kind of thing testing my knowledge as well but this is the ultimate rare you get this card one in every case apparently and let us reveal it it is boom a ghost rare and this is very rare supposedly one in every case and you can see right there it is supposed to be basically 3D effect of the card, really nice and it has a rainbow, oh you can see the stand up music but you can see the rainbow lettering right there just like the secret rare rainbow lettering, right, oh look at that, nice rainbow lettering and a really 3D picture and you put, apparently get this one case and this card is actually really special to me because this is the first gold rare I've ever actually got from a booster pack and I don't think I had this channel yet since so I wasn't able to capture it on camera unfortunately but this card right here I'm holding is the first ghost rare and the only ghost rare I think I've actually got from a booster box so I was very happy with it and it's from Crosses Rose of Chaos so you can imagine how long that goal was and it's Black Rose Dragon so the cover card for that set so this is called the ghost rare and this is six basic rarities, actually including the common card seven. And I thought I'd show you guys them. So these are basically this, this basic ones. So you've got the rare, super rare, ultra rare, secret rare, ultimate rare, and the awesome ghost rare card. And before I go, I just thought I'd show you this little nice misprint. It's not really a rarity, but I've got it in my collection, so I thought I'd show you it. It is well they call it a secret ultra rare I think and this is actually a misprint and it's not really a rarity I don't think but as you can see it is basically a fusion of ultra and secret rare so you know the ultra rare lettering and the secret rare picture so basically a fusion of the ultra and secret rare and this is actually a misprint from Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon and the guy the dragon champion had this card in my collection for quite a while but yeah I thought I'd show you guys this. Not really a real rarity but it's a really cool misprint I think. I can actually get like an opposite like you get a secret rare lettering with ultra rare picture or super rare picture and I think that's called a uh, ultra secret rare which I used to have which was um, Elemental Hero Wild Heart but I think I got rid of it for some reason which is a shame I don't have it with me but I've got this one and I'll be keeping this for a while. But anyway, that is it. <laughs> 10 minute video. Wow, I've been talking for quite a while. Hope I haven't bored you guys and hope you guys enjoyed yep. it. Nevertheless, this is my rarity kind of explaining kind of thing. Not really good, but best I can do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks Q for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.